Stephanie Straw with Board Game Geek, and we are here with Cynthia Landon, and uh, she's from Meeple Source. We're going to be talking about these upgrade kits for games. Um, I want to just grab all of these and put them in my pocket and take them, so uh, we're definitely going to zoom in on these and check them out. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about the game upgrade kits and what comes with them? Or Sure. Well, this one here is for Puerto Rico, of course. Awesome game. Classic. And uh, so what we have here are wooden boats. They're actually double-sided, so one side is all with like a brown color scheme, so if everybody you know, everybody who wants kind of to look all the same uniform, they can use that side. But if you like it all colorful, like I do, mm -hmm. then you can use the bright colorful side. And uh, so they have spots for, uh, you know, each of the resources. Of course, you're only going to use, um, you're going to use different boats for different numbers of players. And so right. This is enough for the whole game. And then you have a colonist boat where your little uh, colonists go. Mm -hmm. So we have colonist meeples if you like to replace your little discs with little people. We do like to do that, yeah. <laughs> we have resources, so sugar, coffee, tobacco, uh, indigo, and corn, and also a trading house, so this is really cool. Of course, the one that comes with the game is just a little piece mm -hmm. of cardboard with squares on it, so, um, and it shows the little pictures of our resources too, so. Yeah. Um, and then we have wooden coins, um, which are great. They stack awesome, and they're uh, nice and big so you can see across the table how many people have. Of course, um, feel nice in your hands and uh, of course it's important to know how much money people have. It would make game. me feel more accomplished to have these, I think, <laughs> in front of me. For sure. Yes. This is not This is not part of? It is not, but I bought it at a craft store for like $4 <laughs> and they had people all kinds of designs. <laughs> yeah, they did, but it was, it was very easy. Um, I found a bunch of different designs. Uh, it was actually at Hobby Lobby is where I ended up finding them. I went to like four craft stores, but they had yeah. a bunch. and. Um, so yeah, you could get make your set look exactly like this. That's yeah, fine. this this really will enhance your gameplay, I think. Yeah, we hope so. Um, I mean, makes everything just easier, like to identify too, because you don't have to remember. Oh, give me some blue cubes or whatever. You know, you can say, give me some indigo, or I would <laughs> yes. like some corn. And especially for a game like this, where you're using the pieces, it's not like you know, victory points or something where you're keeping, you just take it once and you're just storing it for the end of the game. Mm -hmm. These, you're constantly taking them, putting them here, putting them there, using them, and, um, you know, taking money and putting it back. So I, I think you're using the stuff so much, it really makes a big difference. Um, yeah. And fine and level. <laughs> so do you we're have, super excited about this. Do you have some other upgrade Yeah, kits? we do. Um, we brought a couple of things from our most recent Kickstarter that I could show you. Just a little bit of variety. I mean, we have way too many to show everything, but... For example, I have stuff um, like a big set. That, another big set we did is for Orleans. Um, of course, some people got in on the um, deluxe, deluxe version, version, but if you did not, and you're very, very sad. And many have, did not, so, yeah. <laughs> we have super cool character meeples. Mm -hmm. um, so these would take the place of the discs that you put in your bag and pull right. out. And yeah, these are the workers, yeah. Of course, they're the same exact size and shape, so you cannot feel a difference between them. And then also, um, and they're in separate sets, so you don't have to get all of it. You know, you can choose, pick and choose, but there's the characters, and then, of course, all the resources and the little oh, technology yes. wheels and, and the such. Cheese. And we even have a, a nice, cheese. fancy wooden start player token. Oh. So, so all this stuff is for Orleans, and most of our games you can buy, um, if it's a smaller set, you buy everything together. set like Puerto Rico, you'd have the boats and the resources, and then separately the coins, and separately from that the colonists. You don't have to buy everything if mm -hmm. you already have, you know, kind of fancied it up yourself with right. a different option. So, yeah, little Swiss cheese wheels. I know. <laughs> so, so we have cool. we have everything from like big sets like this to um, even little little small sets like uh, we have a glass road, and um, uh, we did it. We worked with uh, Eagle Griffin Games on a baseball highlight set where we have little uh, batters and runners and they're each different depending on how oh, fast yeah. they're running so that was a nice set we we did with them um, we have a mice and mystics a little cheese that fits in the little cheese wheel if you're mm -hmm. familiar with that game they fit perfectly the little green and red hearts so and then we even have um, we even have sets as small as like Rococo, which is only um, wait, 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 Rococo, Rococo, yeah. Yes, so we have thread, thread, and uh, <laughs> yarn. I think it is. So yeah, thread, so yeah, yeah, yarn. <laughs> lace, yeah, lace, lace. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, thread and lace, and then we have um, another small set is uh, Glass Road, where you have like 
um, you know, little, just just a few pieces. These are some of the pieces from Glass Road, um, you know, where you only need a couple. So that set would be really inexpensive. Of course, you know, the Orleans set with all the characters would be more. But we try to have a big variety, everything from like a ten dollar upgrade, you know, to a full upgrade like Orleans. So yeah. um, we even have. I didn't pull it out of the packaging. But I could do that real quick here for brew crafters. Brew crafters. Um, if you're familiar with brew crafters, you have cubes. So like this would be hops instead of mm -hmm. um, you know just a green just cube. Just a green cube. Yeah. Um, and we also malt. have malt. Yeah. Yeah, we have malt. We have and then the even different apples. flavors that you infuse into your beer. Apples, coffee. We made little little black coffee beans. Yep. Spice. We really try to you know make it look like whatever it is so that um, you know adds a lot of flavor to the game. So, so these are the <laughs> flavor to the game. And these are <laughs> the same as the Puerto Rico, so it's like you can even kind yes, of, a lot of the sets use the Kickstarter, some of these in other things. Exactly. Like, we made the apples for something else yeah. and, and we use them again in here. Right. The coffee was the same as for Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. um, the hops and the spice were, were new for this game, but you know. Yeah. And of course for um, a lot of these upgrades have been made at the request of the publishers. Mm -hmm. um, like the baseball highlights, they wanted a bunch of sets to use in tournaments and stuff yeah. like that. So, and we, we love doing that. So, if there's any publishers that would like to see their game upgraded, I can't promise it, but we can look at it and see what and, you can um, do. Yeah. 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 I mean, so where can people go buy this stuff? Well, they can get all of this and much, much, much more <laughs> on meeblesource.com. Um, if you're here at Origins, you can come see us right now for like the next like hour <laughs> before we close. And you'll be um, at Gen Con. We'll be at Gen Con. Yeah, we have a really small booth at Gen Con, so we will not have everything. But I'm certainly willing to bring something. If you want to pick it up at Gen Con, you can uh, email me, meeblesource at gmail.com, and I'll bring it special for you, you know, because it may not be something that we bring automatically. And yeah, it's a very tiny booth. BGG Con? Normally we do. We love BG Con. We go every year. We have, unfortunately, a family event conflict. So yeah. this is the first year in a while say, that you we will usually have, to have kind of a big deal there. So. Yeah, I know. We just do a raffle mm -hmm. and all this stuff. But unfortunately, we won't be there. But I'm sure the next year we will. Be, yeah. So that's okay. Well, awesome. That's thank uh, you so much. Yeah. That's Cynthia with Meeple Source and all of these things, all of these meeples. Goodies. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. It.